What's up, guys? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm your girl, Jocelyn Davis, and today I'm so excited to have joining us in the studio the cast of House of Anubis. It's so nice to see you guys and meet some of you for the first time. Um, now, I know you're a newbie yes. to the cast, yes. so break down how you're fitting in this time around. Well, I mean, I'm the new kid, as, okay. as you said, going into the season, and I mean, at first, going over to a new continent, let alone country, and going in a new show, meeting all these great new people, it was a little nerve-wracking nerve at first, not knowing how I fit in, but yeah. I mean, just coming to the show, it's been absolutely amazing. These guys have been, really have made it a home away from home for me. It's been awesome. There are new mysteries. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot to look forward to. Okay. Yeah. Well, this this season, what's what's wonderful is we have um, almost sort of direct continuity for like a new a new term. So uh, it starts off with Nina returning back into the school and discovering that uh, the sort of mystery that was solved basically has a lot more sort of depth to it, and hence Sabuna start going into a lot more details as the continued mystery that they have to uncover, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crazy, and I love that it's set at boarding school. I went to just like normal public school, but there's always this like right. romanticized notion of living at boarding school. <laughs> I mean, is yeah. that what it's really I like? No, I, no. I can tell you. Really I can, really can, speaking, up, speaking on behalf of the guy who went who went to boarding school. Now, I, I remember. I remember when I left when I left downside my boarding school that I went to, and I came onto the set to see to see House of Anubis for the first time. And I thought, oddly enough, this isn't actually too far off what I'm used to because everything was very, very sort of very pristine and very sort of well kept, and you know. Hundreds of years old, it's supposed to be within the house of Anubis, and that's very similar to what you're going on in my school. <laughs> it's weird. Now, you guys, we kind of talked about this a little bit off camera, but it seems like the shooting schedule is like fast and furious because there's so many episodes. Yeah. What is yeah. shooting like? And you guys probably have so much fun together, like hanging out. Oh, and it, stuff. it is. It's a lot, but I mean, it is go, go, go. I mean, the amount of episodes they're trying to shoot in the period of time they're shooting, uh -huh. yeah. so many to do and get out at a certain point in time. It definitely keeps us going for sure. We never have a dull moment, but I mean, with all of us on set, we're always having a little laugh here, a little yeah. laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the best, the best was um, so that we wouldn't go over time when we, whenever we finished yeah, at yeah. six o'clock, which is an hour <laughs> before we wrap, the crew would come out oh, and bring no. the sands of Horus, and it was an hourglass, it was a prop. <laughs> and they yeah. called it the sands of Horus. And Nick, who was the AD, <laughs> who's in charge of keeping the schedule right, and keeping us on time, it. would. Freak, Freak out. out. Like, get that out of my face. I don't want to see it because look yeah, at the yeah, time yeah, yeah. stress me yeah, out. Exactly. And, and they'd always be like, just, watch like, the sand. He'd hide yeah. it. Yeah. They're like, and watch the sand. Yeah. <laughs> and Dave, our, Dave, our, our cameraman, would always yeah. have it whilst he was filming. So he'd just be like, Holding <laughs> <laughs> And on the last day, they did like an African chant. They came out with drums and that a tambourine. So they're like funny. the sands of Horus. <laughs> oh my god! A lot of the comedy comes down to the crew. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. That's so funny. I don't even know how you keep like a straight face. While no, it's we really don't. Hard. We it's struggle. Hard. It's, it's really so hard. hard. When that, when you've got to get a scene done and it's six o'clock, oh like Jade, if Jade is on Jade set, gets that oh, she's and she just, so you know, when bad. someone's sitting next to you and they're like, and you just, she, you we can't look at. We can't look at each other. Like sometimes the director would be like, "Someone give that line to someone else," <laughs> and Jade would be like, "No, no, no! I can do it. Don't stop it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry." And she'd sit there, but it's just it gets to a point where you're in a scene, and if Jade starts laughing, I can't look at Jade in a scene. No, I can't. And then yeah. I can't look at Brad in a scene if he's laughing too, because Brad never laughs. Brad's like the serious one. He'd sit down and he'd be like, "Guys, we have to finish this scene." Professional. Too. And then Jade, yeah, Jade and I are just sitting there like. And she's just, it's so hard. Because we're all it's such so good friends. Like, you know, you have that contagious laughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so bad. Because we've all lived with each other for so long, it just, it's so contagious, and then it'll just go And when you've been working for 10 hours, you kind of feel like a laugh. Yeah. 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 But then you can't yeah. laugh. Like, you've got to get yeah. this done because it needs to air. But that pressure makes it even yeah. worse. Yeah. So and you want to laugh even more. more. Yeah. Yeah. So, would you guys say that there are any highlights, like any episodes that you're looking forward to seeing most? Maybe because there was something funny going on behind the scenes, or just like an episode that you love the mystery and the intro? I don't want to um, give anything away. Oh, that's I mean, there, there, there are so there's a few, there's yeah. So many for this yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Is. though. we have no, you know we have ninety episodes, all of which with, within each one there have there, there is always a cliffhanger at the end of it, and they right, are yeah. incredibly good. The writers at doing that, so there's so much to look forward to. However, I will say that I was really looking forward to how people would respond to Eddie. Yeah, how yeah. Eddie's really cool. And that episode's now come out, and you know I think. I haven't seen it yet, but I've just heard from what we've seen on Twitter and what uh -huh. we've seen on the site that it's been received, received really, really well. Yeah. Now, the other As thing that, that I love about this show and the fact that it's on Nickelodeon is that it's the first live action, you know, shot in another country, yeah. which is yeah. so groundbreaking and cool. Um, what's that been like for all of you guys? Like, you guys are from the US, you're not, you're from England, yeah. I'm guessing, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, well, when I auditioned, I got told nothing. I didn't know <laughs> it was course. from the US. Yeah. I didn't know it was Nickelodeon. I didn't know anything about the character. It was just 
I just went right. to the audition. I was doing my finals and the audition happened to be next to my library. And I was at the library, so I just hopped along to the library and they didn't tell me anything. So I got there to the first day of shooting and they tell me that this is for this is for the US and it's you know for Nickelodeon and everything. You're like, what? I was like, oh wow, that's really cool. Yeah. But I had no I thought it was just for England, so I didn't I didn't know. I think what's well. also really great about it as well is bearing in mind that it's sort of in in, in, in you know in an English boarding school, which if I may say is something so different to what Nickelodeon and, and Lime as well have, have right. actually produced. Mm -hmm. I think the fact that it's based in, in Liverpool and in the UK kind of kind of give, gives it that real sort of again uniqueness just because exactly. of the location of it. Yeah, I and totally it's very easy agree. to kind of emulate what you see on a daily basis in the UK and then bring yeah. it back into Anubis, which is quite nice. I and really here are you that. guys, the luckiest people ever who get to go and live overseas. Oh, I, I mean yeah. what's it that been cool. like for you? It's um, it's funny because I moved out to LA to do acting, and I never would have thought it would send me out of LA. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, it's been it's been an incredible experience. I feel so lucky to have gotten a job that's allowed me to travel and allowed me to to meet other people and work in another country because that that's really rare. And I've learned a lot, and it's been now two years that I've spent half of the year abroad, and it's I've kind of created a home away from home for myself, and that's something that I think is really special. It's been it's been really really amazing. It, yeah. it absolutely amazing. I mean, being able to go over and and the cool thing over there. I mean, you take advantage of it more than I do, but <laughs> over on the weekends you can skip off to France for the weekend. You go like, to Spain. Au revoir. Yeah. Yeah. I was no, so close. And actually, weekend. exactly. When, when, you know, when you f you first arrived, you know, I, I remember Natalia when she first arrived. I took her down to London, and we had like a little time to share to, to, like, with, with me and my brother and, yeah. uh, and a friend of yours, and that was nice. And I did the and same. I did the same with with I like the sort of emissary. Yeah. For yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this specific season. Um, I know that we talked about maybe some mysteries. Is there anything new that's happening? Of course, your edition. But is there anything new that fans can look forward to in the coming episodes? There's more like romance. It's kind of romance. It's just such a roller coaster because there's Nina and Fabian, and they're all over the place. And then Amber's like <laughs> desperate. <laughs> Amber's desperate for them to be together. And she's just pushing them like, yeah. come on guys, be together, be together. And Nina and Fabian are like, this isn't your relationship, get out. Um, but that that's a really big part because I know the fans love Fabina, which Amber created. <laughs> I love that, um, so Fabina, funny. Nina and Fabian. So I think that's a really, the romance. And then you've got some, we won't say, say don't say. Drama. Yeah. Like, there's because of the mystery. romance. There's so many stories going on at the same time, all kind yeah. of interrelating. And there's just so much more. It, it's like, it's like, Everything is a whole new level, a whole new level. Yeah. Mystery, adventure, romance, drama. Yeah. What I quite like though about the, about this um, this season is that pretty much with regard to uh, probably to every single character, the the mystery and the social lives, the, the romance. What's very nice is they actually become very entwined very often. Yeah. So, yeah. for example, uh, some of the you know some of the romance that potentially goes on between Mara or Jerome may or may not happen. Depends on what exactly goes on with the mystery. You know whether or not Jerome yeah. can uh, certain aspects of his personal life can be uncovered and how Mara is involved. And you know we see what happens with Eddie as well. Yeah. There's any romance yeah, going Eddie on there. So yeah. As the bad boy, you know, he might well have something going on. Yeah, I, I was going to say, just sort of summing up what they're saying as well, is like if there's a lot going with Jerome, there's a lot going, there's a lot more social connections. I mean, the mystery is heightened, and then as well, hopefully the fans, as we've all found love as we were reading it, the, just the connections between the characters. Yeah. Seeing whether this goes up, who likes, you know, who likes who, yeah. who yeah. doesn't like who, 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 who hates who, oh, so it's, yeah. it's very intertwined as it goes throughout the series. And, and not even romance, just friendships as well. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Just simply Frenemies. friendships. Yeah, all exactly. That kind of stuff. I mean, exactly. you know, yeah. Sabuna yeah. obviously the good, means the bad, the ugly. That's exactly. Right. You know, yeah. Sabuna means that you know different friendships come and go, and then also what happens just as the storyline progresses. Eddie, perhaps, and, and Fabian, and, and Jerome. Joy's back to stuff. Exactly. Just so much how going on. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love that you mentioned the fans. Someone was talking about the fans, and you have fans around the world. Um, how have your guys' lives changed as a result of? I know you're soon to find out. You probably are yeah, finding out, right? It's, it's sort of a progression. I mean, I speak for myself. I mean, I, I think I speak for all of us saying we're just so honored by how much the show has been recognized yeah, and yeah. how much yeah. everyone's coming back for season two. And we just love seeing how many people are so interested to see what we can give them. We really hope that they enjoy what yeah, we yeah. shot. Yeah. And considering that, you know, it was an, it was an original back in, uh, you know, Belgium and Germany. Mm -hmm. I just really, what I really pray for the fans who watch it back in other countries is that it's, uh, you know, it's done, done the show credit, which I, th yeah. I really do think it has. Yeah. I yeah. really yeah. pray that it has. And it's so cool also to, I mean, in today's day and age with all the technology, we're really close with our fans through Twitter. And yeah, yeah, so yeah. Cool. yeah. And to get messages on Twitter in 
all different languages, oh, yeah. all different countries. I have to go and yeah, exactly. translate. So, yeah. You know, like Brazil, <laughs> Russia, yeah, Germany, Spain. It's really cool. Portugal, yeah. I was walking around London amazing. the other day and this woman was with her two little kids and she didn't speak any English and she just goes, Nina, yeah. Nina, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh my God. I was in, I was in. We have Pol Poland, Poland. I know. That's all she could say. That's so cool. Language, yeah. but it, it You're the common bond. And that was really cool. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you all of you for coming in. This is such Absolutely. a treat. Thanks for having us. Of thank course, you of course. And you guys out there watching, thanks so much for watching Clever TV. For all the details on House of Anubis, when it airs, and lots of 411 on these guys, check out our info section below. And as always, stick with us because we'll have all the entertainment news you can handle. I'm Jocelyn Davis. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye.